Page 88, arabesque. This is a fun piece. Arabesques are fun. And you can tell by the tempo at Allegro Scherzando. Allegro means fast. Scherzando means fun, playful. Have fun with it. I generally associate a playful tempo with Allegretto, but this is faster than that. So we're just going to have a fast fun. You'll have to decide how that is. You can probably find recordings of this around. Something like that. Uh, however, fast also means how fast can you go un and be under control. The notes are even, they're controlled, they're accurate, everything is there. You have a speed limit on yourself, and so don't go over that. In time, you'll get better and you'll get faster. Don't worry about it. It'll happen. It's fine. When you do these 16th notes, they have to be deliberate and even rhythmically. And I recommend accents like you do on the scale videos I keep preaching about. Ac for practice, accent the beat. Drop the wrist on the accent. Just like so. The page 89 you get in the left hand. Your speed, not mine. Third measure over, it says leggero, means light. This is a light piece. I'm playing it rather loud and lucky, but it's supposed to be light. It starts out soft. And then the second line, you get louder. Now you're loud. And then third line, you see the first measure, there's a sforzando, F, S, Z. That is it like a bang. Uh, that is like a loud accent, you boom. Let her have it. Not vulgar or nothing, but let it have it. And then next, immediately after that, it's soft again. So to start with the third line, it's here, you're loud. And then you're right down to soft immediately. Now you're getting loud. Fourth line, you're loud again. And now you're mezzo, mezzo forte, you're medium loud. Page 89, you're starting out medium loud. Second line is loud, but look at the third measure. Dim e poco rit. Dim is short for diminuendo, means get softer. And if you look at the beginning of the third line, it's soft. So now we're going to go from loud to soft. We've got two measures to get soft. E is and. Poco means a little. And retard, rit means retardando, or slow down a little bit. So now we're going to get softer, and we're going to slow down just a little bit for those last two measures of the second line. So if we start the second line here... <laughs> You're slowing down and getting softer both because on the third line you're back to soft again. When we play it together I can't slow down with a metronome I don't and I don't do the louds and softs because I just want you to hear the notes. You add in all that stuff. While I'm here the last two measures of the second line on page 89 let's look at each of these hands because this gets tricky because the hands are playing different fingers and it's legato. There's no pedal in this. You're starting out right hand, second finger, thumb, cross over, third, and then cross over for the G sharp. Get good at that one, okay? Get where you can play that hand by itself. And the beat comes at the beginning. One, one, two. The left hand's got something different. You're starting out with two, like the right hand, and thumb. Two. Now the two on the D sharp, and then one. So work that out so you can play it. One. Then you can put the hands together slowly because it's weird. You have to just work on it. Get it. 
And once you have it, then you can go back and put in the dynamics, get softer. And slow down a little, not a lot. Now at the beginning of the third line, you see off tempo? Off tempo means resume your normal tempo, because we just slowed down. Before, now we're back up and running again just all of a sudden and then you can follow the dynamics at the end the last two measures at the bottom of page 89 you see a resoluto it's kind of a resolve or final it's a, this is the finish of it it's like think end this is it this is it we're done da -da -da. and then the last chord is that sforzando again that Bang, and now you're going to hold it out. I'm going to hold it out for four counts because it normally a half note gets two. But when you're playing it, you're going to hold it out longer than four. Uh, figuring wise, do what they're telling you to do is fun. I can change little things here and there, like the last line of the page 88. In the right hand, the second measure, you see the. the I would do a two, three, uh, maybe a one. Just so I can use different fingers on repeated notes, but you don't have to, you can just do it that way. You get the same passage in the second line on third measure there on page 89. Now at the bottom of page 89, let's go over the last line slowly. The left hand's just got these staccato chords. Keep them light, keep them... Although you're, now, now you're going to go from soft to loud, you've got th three or four. You're not going to get loud until the next to the last measure. And as I suggest you do it by the measure. Each measure get a little louder. Like so. On the right hand, let's look at those notes. You have this in the first measure. Next measure. Next measure, when you're way up in the stratosphere, you hopefully you know how to figure those notes out. I hope. You should know Two ledger lines above the staff is a high, high C here. Well, the first note is the space right above that, so it would be the note right above it. And then you can see each note just goes up. And the last note then is an A. That is four ledger lines up, and it's the space right above the fourth ledger line. So the two ledger lines, three ledger lines, four ledger lines, and that note is right above the four, so it's here. You know, when I get that many, I have to stop and count them because I lose track of where I'm at. And here it's not so bad because the previous, I know the first note's a D. I can glance at it, I just know it. And I can see the notes are going up the scale. So, yeah, I, whatever note I end on, that's what I ended on. That is to be an A. Well, the piece is an A minor, so it makes sense. Let's try this out. Two, four time. I don't know if two beats is enough. I'm going to give us four counts. We'll go one, two, ready, go, and we'll go. Huh. All right, here we go. We are going to take the repeats. Yes. Starting out here. Slowly. One, two, ready, go.